It's the National Football League on EA Sports, and we've got the latest chapter of a historic rivalry. It's the Baltimore Ravens and the Pittsburgh Steelers, and it's coming up next on Madden Football. Now the temperatures are cooling off, but the sun is still shining, and that makes for perfect football weather in the city of Pittsburgh at Acrisure Stadium. Brandon Gordon and Charles Davis on hand. And this is a game where the defenses, they need to be on their toes. Because you've got quarterbacks here, yes, that can throw the football, but they can also run it very well, too. Mobile quarterbacks. Remember for the longest time, they used to tell the quarterbacks, stay in the pocket. We don't want you outside of it at all. Nowadays, that mobility, truly an asset, and people are game planning for it. As a scout told me recently, we are actually working with what the colleges are giving us nowadays. Two hard-hitting blue-collar franchises. One of the better rivalries going. The Ravens and Steelers are underway. And he won't quite make it to the 25. So here's the first drive for the Ravens. And at the helm is the 2023 NFL Most Valuable Player. Second such time he's won the award, Lamar Jackson. And he's coming off a season where he showed everyone that he's worth every single penny he was given. He now has two MVP trophies on his resume and was on the verge of adding a Lamar Hunt trophy to go with it. Unfortunately, things didn't work out in his favor, but make no mistake about it. He's truly one of the most electrifying players in the NFL. As long as he's the man under center, they'll always be in championship conversation. And they'll run the option to start the drive. And he probably should have given that one off as he's going to get hit and taken down behind the line. Call it officially a loss of two on the first play from scrimmage. Second down. Boy, the pursuit there, terrific from the linebacking core. Oh, it certainly was because so many times on an option play, you'll see a linebacker make a beeline for the quarterback and then zip, one cut, and he's grasping it air. But this time, he locked in on him the whole way, took an excellent angle, and his grasp came up with the quarterback. It's a gain of maybe three, but it's going to leave him with still about eight or nine to go on third down. They'll come to the line here needing nine yards to pick up the first. They'll bring one of the tight ends in motion left. They snap it at one. Now it's Jackson. Work in the middle of the field, and he's got a man complete. And he will have a Ravens first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. Well, that was a fun one to watch right there. A nice in-breaking route and plenty of room in the middle of the field. And he was able to get behind the linebackers and grab the completion for a really good pickup. A first down carry for Henry. And he'll manage to pick up about four. It's second down. And that was a quality play to start a new set of downs. That was simply an offensive line winning the battle up front and winning in a big way and giving their guy in the backfield a nice lane to hit. Now a second and six. Here's Jackson. That's complete with Zay Flowers with it. And they're going to have themselves another first down as the tackle's made at the Steelers' 41-yard line. A nice pick up there of 11 yards, and it'll move the sticks. Well, I think when they look at their offense, they think to themselves, weapons, weapons everywhere, and they want to move the ball around. They want to spread it to different people. But you absolutely know they want to get this man involved as well, and that's what they just did on that play. They set up the screen for Henry. And this winds up a pickup of two, maybe two and a half, to about the 39. Good reactions there defensively. That screen was a little slow in developing, and they shut that one down with little gain. This is second and eight. In motion, Aguilar. And they'll get it forward to him on the touch pass. Trying to turn the corner, but he's going to be stopped right near the line of scrimmage. Officially, no gain on the play, and they're left with a third and eight. A 
does a nice job there defensively being able to diagnose that little touch pass. They saw it coming, converged on him before he could get much out of it. First down marker at the 31. It's third down. So they accept the penalty, of course, and push the offense backwards a bit. After the delay, they're backed up even further for third and long. To throw again is Jackson. Able to find the open man. That's complete. And they're going to have themselves another first down as the tackle's made at the Steelers' 27-yard line. A big play there as they get the conversion on third and 13. And he remains perfect on this opening drive. Charles now 5 of 5 and another first down to work with. He's like one of those great shooters in basketball that has his rhythm has his confidence. He doesn't think anything is going to miss right now. As far as he's concerned, he's going to be perfect the entire game. And who's to say that it won't happen the way he's throwing it right now? Finds his man over the middle. It's likely. And he'll take this into the end zone. Now, hold on here. We do have a flag down. So let's see what this is about. A costly penalty there. A lineman got downfield, and for the moment, that cost him six points. In motion, Hagelor. To throw is Jackson. That's caught. It's Flowers. And they do get him down, but not before he's able to slip it inside the five-yard line. That'll be marked as a 27-yard pickup. A lot of precision being shown on this opening drive. They've been methodical. They've been crisp. And as a reward, they're going to be set up with an early first and goal. And he's going to press this one forward as they stop it right around the one. Give him four yards there on the first down keeper. Well, they didn't get a whole lot out of that one, but I think you got to continue to try and run and try and keep the defense honest. You mean, or else they'll just sit back, dare you to throw it on every down? Yeah, you get your quarterback hit a lot that way, too. Second and goal from the one. And he'll get in. Touchdown, Baltimore. Lamar Jackson. Keeping it himself from a yard out. And the Ravens get the upper hand as they're on the board first here this afternoon. Now this defense, so many things to worry about in the red zone area, but you'd have to almost think that Lamar Jackson running the football, that might be number one. It should be number one. And in this portion of the field where things shrink a little bit because the receivers can't run past anyone because they'll run out of real estate, you should have all eyes on Lamar Jackson when the ball is snapped and try and keep him back in the pocket. Yeah, I don't think that they were surprised he was running it there. They just couldn't stop him, and he ends up in the end zone. Tucker now to kick it away following the touchdown. And up to about the 26-yard line, just across the 25. So the new-look Steelers offense headed out for their first drive, led by a man in his 13th NFL season now. First is a Steeler, Russell Wilson. After a tough couple of years in Denver, Wilson finally gets his fresh start, and he's certainly hoping to make the most of it. Truthfully, though, it's been tough sledding ever since being traded from Seattle a few years back. But he still has the talent and tools to make this next chapter a positive one.
Here's Wilson to throw. And that is going to be incomplete as he led him a bit too much. Charles already trailing by touchdown early. This offense, how imperative is it for them to get points out of this drive? Well, they feel like they have to go ahead and match because of what was already on the board against their defense. But I think even more so, you just want to avoid three and outs. You want to be able to stay on the field for a little while, let your defense catch their breath a little bit, even if you don't score any points. And he takes this up to the 40-yard line before being corralled. It's a Pittsburgh first down, a gain of 13. That's pretty much meat and potatoes right there, wasn't it? Just go right at him and let your big horse charge up the middle. Not too fancy there, was it? Nothing fancy at all, challenging that defense. And on that go-around, the offense won the challenge. Play action. It's Wilson. They'll get this to his tight end. That's Pat Fryer move. 23 yards on the play. Oh, I like that play call there. After a run for good yards, you get a defense thinking they'll go back to the web. So that's a great time to call play action and give your receivers a little extra edge. And they complete the pass there for another first down. So in Raven territory now, here's a first and 10 at the 37-yard line. Off the play fake, here's Wilson. And this is caught, and into the end zone. Touchdown, Pittsburgh. George Pickens, 37 yards. And the Steelers are able to match the opening drive touchdown against them with one of their own. It took them a while to get their speedster involved, but they found him downfield there. And what we've discovered as we've watched games is the speedster doesn't have to have a lot of catches, doesn't have to have volume in order to have a huge impact on the game. His speed scares the heck out of defenses, and other guys can capitalize, but when you finally hit him and he carries it all the way into the end zone, that's what you're paying him for, that big threat that can make big plays on a limited number of catches. That's how you step on the stage with your first catch, take it to the house. Extra point put through by Boswell, and we are tied at seven. Each team's had it. Each team has scored. 7-7 seven, seven here as the kick's away. And out a little across the 25 to the 27. Baltimore set to take over here for their second possession of the game. This drive here beginning probably with a pair of motivated groups. Remember the offense scored a touchdown on their last time out looking to repeat that in Charles's defense. They were very frustrated after giving up six the last time on the field. And frankly, it's just a battle of wills in a lot of ways because you know they're both motivated. They both game plan for this drive and they both have specific outcomes in mind. To me, it just comes down to who can execute better and which side can step up and assert its will over the other. That's to about the 28, second down coming up. Oh, that's a real nice job there by the defensive front. They just engaged and held their ground. But how about the guy who made the play? We often talk about whether they take a good first step or not. Many times you just don't take any step. Just get your feet moving, get your body going. And then once he made the read, he was able to make the play. Now it's Jackson. To the right side and intercepted. Picked off by Deshaun Elliott. And this return is going to be halted right around the 28-yard line. That's certainly not his best throw that time and not a good time to make it, Charles, when they were a nickel with five defensive backs on the field. And that's exactly why you have those five DBs out there. You want extra speed on the field, guys who have ball skills and understand what the passing game can do and gives them a chance to react and make a play on the football, and they take one of those away. So Pittsburgh retakes the field for their second offensive possession. They'll have very good starting field position here as they try to break our tie, and they start first and 10.
A first carry for Najee Harris. And just good downhill running there as he'll take this to the 15-yard line. It's a Pittsburgh first down, a gain of 13. 3-4 defense, and that O-line really dominated the D-line on that play. And think of it this way. With a 3-4, you have a natural bubble over each guard because those guys don't have defenders over them. Oftentimes, if you want to run up the middle, they can get upfield and get on the linebackers right now, and that gives the running back a heck of a chance to get into the secondary. These two teams all tied after one. Second quarter action from Pittsburgh. It is the Steelers in control of the football. Line of scrimmage, the 15. It's first and 10. As they've got it as we resume action. Here's Wilson. Complete to Austin here over the middle. And the Steelers are going to be set up with a first and goal on a pass play that moves them all the way down to the run. It's all pretty simple sometimes, isn't it? Go where the defenders are not. And he does exactly that. Makes a nice catch to move the chains. Defense, got to find a better way of accounting for the shorter routes that are being run against them. Harris diving for the end zone, and he'll get there. Touchdown. And how nice is it to have a guy like Najee Harris in the backfield when you get down near the goal line? He can use his 230-plus pound frame to just get you those tough yards, and he finishes things off here with a touchdown run. Boswell for the extra point. And he's got it. It's now a 14-7 ball game. Scoring summary. Three-play drive. And it was Najee Harris who finished it off with a touchdown run. Boswell now to kick it away after the touchdown. Oh, a dangerous return man showing it here. And a good effort on the return there. Gets him across the 30, up to the 33. The offense for the Ravens returns to the field. That 7 nothing lead of theirs short-lived as they've now given up two straight touchdowns to fall behind by seven. Yeah, but no cause for discouragement here. Yeah, they've fallen behind, but haven't they proven that they can go down and score? So what was the formula that got them down there the first time? Get back to something close to that, and maybe they can get this game tied up. Try to shake off the interception from the last drive. He'll look to throw. And they'll get it up just short of the 45 at the 44. Nothing open downfield. He keeps it himself for 11 and a first down. Evident there that he learned his lesson from the last drive. No way he was going to force a throw that time. When nothing broke open, kept it, and ended up running for a first down himself. Jackson now. He completes it to Henry. Seven yards there on the first down screen play. Good call there on first down. And Brandon, I'm getting better over the years and not screaming out, screen, screen, screen with my defensive training. They want to keep those pass rushers honest. And they did so there, and they wind up picking up positive yardage. Here's second and three. Jackson from the shotgun. Got his man complete over the middle. It's Flowers. Third catch of this first half for him, and this one is a first down. One thing you're hoping for when you run drag routes, you're able to hit a receiver in stride, and he can pick up a lot of yardage after the catch. But in this situation, the defense was effective, able to stop him before he could get a good head of steam going. They just do get the playoff as he'll look to throw. And it's incomplete, broken up. 
But there is a flag down. Let's see what that's about. So he gets too far beyond the line, and that's an easy call for the official. From the gun, it's Jackson. A short throw caught by Andrews. Call it a gain of six on the play, and that's going to bring up second down. Nice rhythm throw there on first down. He located his tight end, made a nice easy pitch and catch. Hoping he can break a tackle or two. Wasn't able to do that there, but still good yardage. Now we're at the 41, second and nine. Running from the gun with Henry. And give him six yards here as he stopped near the 35 at the 34. And that looked like some pretty easy yardage there right up the gut. And he's a guy that has some height to him. So when you don't have to drop a shoulder or create or get through contact or trash, it makes it a lot easier to stay upright, see the field, and make a run as we just saw there. From the gun, Jackson. That is caught. And he will have a Ravens first down as they convert on third and three with a nice gain of seven yards. And that one was a lot of fun right there because that was the game within the game. Third and short, blitz was on. What's the key for the quarterback? Get out of your hands in a hurry. And that was a quick little completion. Got the job done for a first down. Throwing is Jackson. His throw taken in by Isaiah Likely. And they'll get him down after a pickup of eight, second and two. And there wasn't much room for the big tight end to do much after the catch. But at least he was able to pick up a solid gain to help his offense continue to move in the right direction. Second and a couple. Now it's Jackson. Over the middle, complete. That's Flowers. What a methodical drive this is turning out to be. That time, nine yards, and the sticks move again. And the throw and the catch were just fine, but again, zone coverage when you run a drag route, what you're hoping for is he makes the catch and makes someone miss, and they don't there. Very difficult route to run when everyone has their eyes back towards the quarterback and they're able to see the route develop. Aguilar in motion left. Now Jackson taps this forward, jet sweep. Oh, and this one it may need to go back to the drawing board. He's going to be swallowed up right away. He was unable to shake free there. They'll cover him for a loss of a yard. Well, I think the hope is, you know, with a touch pass like that, they, maybe you catch the defense off guard, but they were all over that one. And it is the kind of play that works better against certain defenses, and this clearly was the wrong one to run into. Really nice job getting him down behind the line of scrimmage. That one thrown away from the pocket. The officials kind of looking at each other, but they'll say there was a receiver in the area, so no penalty, just an incomplete pass. This offense so far on third down, a perfect three for three as they look to keep that streak going. This is third and 11. Jackson. And this is caught. Touchdown, Baltimore. Deontay Johnson, an 11-yard touchdown. And the Ravens are an extra point away from evening this one up. Well, on that connection, it looked like they maybe had some pre-play communication. Maybe one of them noticed an area that was open in the defense to get the pass to. When you put the time in, sometimes you have that great silent communication that you just noticed right there because the best quarterback-receiver combos in the NFL they know how to make those adjustments at the line of scrimmage when they see something pre-play and they got it done there. Now Tucker to add the PAT. And we've got a good one brewing. We're all knotted up at 14. A pretty long drive that time. 11 plays all told. And in the end it was Deontay Johnson's touchdown catch to cap the drive.
This one tied at 14 now as he sends this one away. And he'll take it up past the 25 to the 26-yard line. The Steelers' offense now, they head back onto the field. So both of these teams, Charles, coming off touchdowns now, but this offense, they just had to stand on the sideline, watch their opponent author a really impressive drive to reach the end zone. Yeah, and I think you're not telling yourself the truth if you don't think there's some one-upsmanship going on right now because they just had their touchdown answered by a drive of double-digit plays that also found the end zone. Now they want to do something even more impressive to answer that one. They go play action with Wilson. Now a quick throw there, but it's going to be incomplete. I think he could have scanned downfield forever, but there wasn't anything available. Ends up throwing an incompletion, and I think he'll take that. Here's second and ten. Out of the gun, here's Wilson. And that one too wide and incomplete. But following the play here, now we've got an injury. Well, now they're going to come out and take a look at this injury, and we'll be back in a moment. So back-to-back -back incompletions, and that has them staring at a third and ten. Throwing is Wilson. Got his man. It's one. And he is stopped just short on third down. Got nine yards, but needed ten. Well, it looks like they got what they wanted. They got the completion, but they weren't able to break any tackles or gain nearly enough yardage to pick up the first down. Now to be fourth and short. Now the Ravens going to use one of their timeouts. They'll have two remaining as we step aside here in this second quarter. Fourth down, Corliss Waitman now on to punt. time rolls around Jonathan Coachman will have all the highlights and analysis of this first half of play from our studios in Orlando the Raven offense set at the line for this next drive and they'll just simply be looking to build off the confidence of the last time out where they scored a touchdown and confidence is powerful isn't it when you scored once you feel like you can go back out there and get it done again doesn't matter what the defense throws at them they feel like they're in a groove right now, and they want to get out there and show it. Yeah, hoping to stay in that groove here this go-around. That certainly appeared to be a play call where they were just trying to make second down, second and short. I think they thought the coverage was off a little bit more than it was. Nice job there pressing up on it and forcing the incompletion. They'll motion the tight end across the formation. Now Jackson. Throw right side is complete to Andrews, his tight end. And they're able to get this one across the 35. Jackson to Andrews on that one. First down, Baltimore. A lot of tight ends just use their size and their strength, try to occupy some space and kind of body people away and catch the football. But not this guy. He's a refined route runner. Makes me wonder if he took some dance classes in his background with his footwork. Oh, and he's going to have to eat this one as down he goes. That's big Cameron Hayward adding another sack to his career total. And on that one, the protection just broke down. You've got to have that leverage, don't you? We always talk about low man wins in the running game for an offensive lineman versus a defensive lineman. It's essentially the same thing in pass protection. Get lower than that defensive lineman so that you can keep your balance and keep him away from your guy trying to throw the football. And he'll get positive yardage there as he'll be touched down. They like going to him in the slot. He catches another one. I think this comes under the heading of until they stop him, 
why not go back to him? He has something going really well. Great working relationship with the guy throwing the ball, and they keep making the connection. Jackson. Pass taken in by his big tight end. The Ravens going to use the second of their timeouts as they stop it here with just under 40 ticks to go in this first half. Line of scrimmage, the 31 now on first and 10. Here's Jackson to throw. That's into the hands of Wallace over the middle. Ravens going to use their third and final timeout as the clock will stop with 34 seconds to go before halftime. Now second and five. Again, Jackson. And that falls to the ground incomplete. A nice job of bodying him up defensively. And now it brings up third down. And I think they'd be well served to take that type of a physical approach against him the rest of the game. He's had his way so far. But on that last one, that worked quite well for the defense. Here's Jackson. And that one will fall incomplete. Clock here now, just under 30 seconds to go in this first half. Back-to-back -back incompletions of what was once a nice drive. Stalled out here. I'm going to give credit to the secondary partner. Never gave up as they gave up a few yards, and they came through on that play to deny that pass and force the fourth down. Tucker's kick is good, and they take a 17-14 lead. So they're able to end that drive with three points in this one-possession ball game. And ideally, you want to end every drive with points. Most quarterbacks, you tell you, let's end it with a kick, right? A PAT, that's number one. Field goal, you'll take. Punts, you really don't want to do that. In this case, they'll take the field goal and get prepared for the rest of the game. Tucker now following the main field goal set to kick it away. And he takes this near the 25. Just a little pass there. Call it the 26. One more drive here for the Steeler offense in this first half. And with time quickly fading here in the second quarter, not sure how aggressively offensively they want to play this. I think we'll find out just how much they trust their guys in this situation if they decide to take a shot. Clock at 20 seconds to go in the half as they come up first and 10. And they're just going to run it here up the middle. And defensively, they're just looking to keep him contained as they're able to get him down. Now the Steelers use the first of their three timeouts as they stop it with 16 seconds to go in half number one. Here's a second and three now from the 33. Now it's Wilson. And this is going to be caught, but they'll say out of bounds. So it's incomplete. Well, in tapping those toes, he tried to get both in bounds. He could not do it, though. In tap dance parlance, could not complete the shuffle. All right, needed to get that shuffle down with both <laughs> feet, not just one. Is that what they say? There it is. You know, put a little sand down on the stage. I'll take your word for it, my man. Now, throw out wide, going to be incomplete. Yeah, that's a nice job there defensively to blanket those receivers on third down. And as a quarterback, all you can do is just lop one toward the bench, not too close, mind you, and live to punt the football. Now the offense is not leaving the field. They're going to stay out and go for it on fourth and three. Final play of the half. It's Wilson. 
And it's incomplete. They cannot convert, and they turn it over. So we've hit halftime. Just a field goal separating these two teams at the break. As we'll head down to Orlando, that's where we find our man Jonathan Coachman at our EA Sports Halftime Report. Coach. This one's been as good as advertised. Just a field goal separating these two teams. This is a very level first half, and I'd expect to see more of the same after the break. Okay, Coach, yeah, adjustments likely going to play a big role in this third quarter in what's been a tight contest so far. A field goal, the difference. 17-14 is the score. Back underway here now in this third quarter. And up to about the 26-yard line, just across the 25. Well, the Steeler offense ready to get going to begin this third quarter. Well, Charles, in that first half, we saw a fair amount of offense on both sides of the football, and now the team trailing here will start with it in the third quarter. And we both know this coach pretty darn well, don't we? Because his game planning is always on point. And now that he's getting the ball to start the second half, how about all the offense that you already referenced in the first half? He'll put that all together and come out with something really strong, I believe, to get things going here in the third quarter. And they get him down, but not before he takes it across the 40-yard line. 15 yards is the pick up there and the drive starting very nicely. First down. That one definitely helps as they try to push the ball down the field here trailing early in the third quarter. And even though they're trailing, not abandoning the running game. People may call it an adjustment. I think it's just much more sticking to what works for you and continue. And it's a fumble. And it's picked up by the Ravens. And they take over. They'll set up shop at the 46-yard line. Well, this jet sweep is so popular now in football, but Charles, here's the downside, a turnover. Yeah, because you want so badly to get the ball in the hands of your receivers, let him try and create something. I think that when he took the handoff, he was thinking something big. Instead, he didn't feel the pressure, and the ball came free. The Ravens offense getting ready now for their first possession of the second half. And their defense just helped him out by getting the football back on the opening drive here of the second half. And now can the offense follow through with points on their first possession? And that's a big one for them because after the work the defense has done, they've got a chance here to open up this lead. They'll send the big tight end in motion right. After the fumble recovery, it's Jackson. And this will be incomplete. Physical play on the football there, and it's second down. That was nice work there defensively to force incompletion. Now, even though this drive started in plus territory, they're still not in field goal range yet. So they can work towards another couple of stops and not allowing that turnover to hurt. To throw is Jackson. He'll get this one down near the 20-yard line, just shy of the 20. Big yardage there on the scramble. It gets him a first down. And, Brandon, this is the time of the game when Jackson could really take over. He's got the defense's legs a little bit tired. He's got them on the run. Yeah, this defense looks gassed, and you're exactly right. Second half with the lead. This is when Lamar Jackson seems to thrive. A quick pass out to Aguilar. And he'll be taken down at the 20 after a gain of just one. As a defense, you're more balanced when you're in zone coverage because you're able to keep your eyes on the quarterback and see the play develop in front of you. They're able to keep the quick pass in front of them and stop it right at the line of scrimmage. From the 20, here's second and nine. They'll bring the tight end in motion right. That flag accepted, and it backs the offense up a little bit. Yeah. 
After the penalty, it's Henry. And they've got it inside the 10 at the 8. That one good for 17 yards, and now they've got it first and goal. Sometimes it's hard to believe, but there are times this game is about patience, isn't it? Has had the game he expected, but that run there, that may get him going. I was just going to say, maybe that gives him a little juice, because you're right, he struggled, especially in that first half. Yeah, and I know the great ones always think to themselves, just hang in there. I'm just one big carry away from busting this open. That's a good start for him. It'll be a gain of five there as they move closer. It's second and goal. Hat tip to that offensive line. They're clearing some holes, even down here deep in the red zone. And that's a nice pickup on the ground on first and goal. In motion right is Aguilar. Now Jackson taps this forward. Jet sweep. Oh, and this one that may need to go back to the drawing board. He's going to be swallowed up right away. Call it a gain of a yard as they get a little bit closer here. It's third and goal. A nice play design there with the touch pass. Looked good at the start, but bottom line, the defense was ready. And they did a nice job scouting, didn't they? Not just scouting, but now executing once they saw the play for real after having worked on it all week in practice. And he will take it in for a Ravens touchdown. Lamar Jackson. A three-yard run as he kept it himself. And the Ravens are able to add on to that lead. So the lanes continue to be there for Lamar Jackson to run that football. That his second touchdown run of the game. You know what I would like? I'd like for us to be able to go into a defense's room after playing Lamar Jackson and watch the tape and see how much of a lane was really there and how much he created just through his talents. In any event... Lamar Jackson finds the end zone, doesn't he? He always seems to, but that's a good point. We sometimes put blame on the defense. But maybe we just need to praise Lamar Jackson a little bit more. Tucker with the extra point, and his guys will take a 10-point lead. Tucker now to kick it away following the touchdown. And he'll take it up past the 25 to the 26-yard line. Pittsburgh's offense now heading back out onto the field. Last time out, they had the fumble. That led to the touchdown. Not a great look on either side of the ball as the defense gave up the points too, Charles. But they've got to take care of the football and do better here on this possession. It's certainly been a tough stretch partner for both of those units, and they kind of put their defensive mates in a really tough spot there by dropping the ball on the ground. But an easy way to make it up to them, get out there now and get some points on this drive. Throw left side, hauled in by Pickens. Only able to gain a couple there, and that'll make it second down. They'd love to just strike back with a touchdown right here, and if it's a long play, so be it. But the main goal, get a couple of first downs, run some plays, run some clock, allow their defense to get a chance to catch their breath, settle down, and relax a little bit after they just gave up a score. Now it's Wilson. Finding Pickens for another catch. And they get him down, but not before he takes it across the 40-yard line. 12 yards that time at a Pittsburgh first. That connection seemed to work out okay on the first play of the drive. Why not go right back to it? And once again, this defense is left without an answer as they surrender back-to-back -back first downs. Now a first down carry for Harris. Now he's going to get this all the way down inside the 35. 62 yards rushing for him now, and he's carried the ball just five times. They went with a nickel look defensively, so they had five defensive backs in there. Didn't help them stop the run. Yeah, I love that, the nickel look. Five cents, five DBs. But what also happens then? You take a big body off the field in order to insert that guy. So you're taking a big off for a little, and oftentimes you can run the football effectively against that defense. First down, and they go back to Harris. Taken down at the 30. I feel like I could see what he was thinking on that carry. He wanted to follow that big tackle through the hole. 
ended up only getting four yards on the carry. I think he had designs on that one being bigger. Ball on the 30 now. Here's a second down and six. They'll keep it on the ground. Harris again. And he'll be taken down well behind the line, and I think he might have just given those four yards right back. It's a loss of four. Now third down. With his size, it often takes more than one guy to get him down, but if you can at least slow him up and the reinforcements arrive, you have a chance to get him on the ground, and that they did that time for a loss. Here's Wilson. And this is going to be incomplete. Fine work by the Baltimore defense to help bring up fourth down. So another incompletion there. He's hitting on fewer than half his pass attempts in this one, and that is not a winning formula. Yeah, so let's make sure we give a little bit of credit to the defense here. They've given him a lot to think about, a lot of different looks, and he seems a little bit confused trying to complete passes. Boswell's kick is good, and this is back down to a seven-point game. So the response to that touchdown on the other side to begin the third quarter. Look, just three points, but still a response nonetheless. You're exactly right about that because I think you needed to answer back with something, even though it's not six. Just enough to send the message that says, hey, we're not going away. After the successful field goal try, here's Boswell to send it away. And he'll be stopped up at the 25. The Ravens offense and Lamar Jackson set to take over once again. And he's been a nightmare to scheme against throughout this one. This defense has been totally taken apart, and that is borne out in his numbers. He's been terrific all game long. The Baltimore offense at the line set to get going. They have played so strongly. You look at the scoreboard, you, you probably, with the way they played, you would think the margin would be a lot bigger, right? You would. And in your experience, how many times have we run into coaches where they've talked about, hey, we just want to put it in the hands of our defense and have them win the game? In this case, yeah, not, the case. not at all. You want to put it in the hands of your offense. But you always feel better about seeing defense because you think defense is a constant and offense kind of comes and goes. Today, <laughs> this game... No, they need their offense to stay on a really hot level. They've been hot so far. Now it's Jackson. A short throw caught by Andrews. They get seven out of that, so they're left with a third and three. Let's not quibble about the game there on second down. That was a positive play because that was a take-what-you-can-guess situation. Got out to the tight end. Now it gives them a much better opportunity to convert on third down. Here's third and three. They snap it at one. Now it's Jackson. He's got his target. That's complete. And he will have a Ravens first down. They needed three. He doubled that. He got six. And defensively, they were in zone coverage there. Do you have to be a little careful you're losing playing against a good quarterback like he is to not play too much zone? Yeah, you have to be careful about how much time you're giving up. I think it's a good point you just brought up. So maybe if you still want to play zone, you go to a zone blitz scheme. And you can drop anyone out of your defensive front. Defensive end, defensive tackle. It doesn't matter. You just exchange someone to bring more pressure towards the quarterback and still try and cover downfield. 45 yards rushing for him now to this point. Offensive linemen love creating space for their guys carrying the ball. But when that guy also breaks tackles and creates extra yardage, they almost feel like he's one of them, and they really embrace him. Jackson now. A short throw caught by Andrews. And he'll be brought down on what's going to turn out to be the final play of this third quarter. Three quarters in the books. This is the National Football League on EA Sports. Back now in Pittsburgh. It's the Ravens in control of the football. They've also got the lead as we get set for the fourth.
We couldn't ask for much more to this point in the second half. A gorgeous day. One score game. First and ten here. They go play action with Jackson. Throwing quickly there, but it's incomplete. Well, they've been back on their heels a little bit here on this drive, but a chance to exhale just a little bit there with incompletion on first down. Now they have to gear up, try and get two more stops, and escape this drive. Now it's second and ten. Jackson options out left. And he'll get this down only to about the 46. Only a yard there on the keeper, and that's going to leave him with a third down. Pretty good little two-play sequence there. You foresee incompletion, then a very short pickup. Yeah, now maybe you bring in an extra defensive back or two because you want to try and defend on third down. They like to play those nickel or sub packages, don't they? They'll bring the tight end in motion right here. Here's Jackson from the gun on third down. And a throw there going to be incomplete. Credit Patrick Queen. He was the man who knocked that ball away. But based on the play we just saw there, he might not be the guy you want to challenge in coverage on these all-important snaps. He certainly looks dialed in right now. The Ravens send their punter out now, as he should be able to pin him back deep here with his first punt. There, this punt will go out of bounds. I think it'll be inside the 25, and it will. Right at the 24-yard line is where they'll spot it. And Pittsburgh getting set to take the field. And after the field goal last time, we'll see what they can get here. At least they got points out of the last drive, Charles. I never met an offensive coach that didn't want a drive to end with a kick. <laughs> Most of them want it to end with a PAT, right? In this case, a field goal, they'll take it. Way better than the alternative, which is a punt. Yeah, but you've met fan bases that wanted that, that <laughs> fan, weren't happy with that field goal. <laughs> I haven't met a fan base yet that wants to drive in with a kick, <laughs> other than the extra point. That's it. They'll start the drive with Harris. Takes it to the 26, just a one-yard gain. That felt like a trap, because it looked to me like the opposing front was on that play from the get-go. They had everyone crashing the ball carrier before he even made the line, and they hold him to just a yard. From the 25, here's a second and nine. Now the offense knew it. They were already starting to walk back as that one is accepted. From the shotgun, Wilson. And he'll slide to a halt here. Still a little shy of the first down marker. And give him 10 that time as he was able to get away from the pressure and get a nice gain. I like how he hung in there and went through his progressions, but eventually his internal clock went off and told him it was time to make a run for it. And he ends up sliding down with a solid gain. And the Steelers on third down. 0 for 3 to this point. They could use a conversion. This will be third and five. That is caught. And he'll be out of bounds, but able to get it up past the 45. Second catch for him today, and it'll wind up a first down. I like the design that we're seeing right there. This is what they need. Down by touchdown here in the fourth. They just need to keep working their way downfield. And when they see openings, take their shots. Going to run the toss here to Harris. And he'll lose yardage on the play back at the 45-yard line. He'll lose a yard there, and it's second and 11. With his size, he's a tough man to bring down, but they do a nice job there stopping his progress and not allowing him to get back to the line of scrimmage. So after the loss of a yard, they'll look to push forward here on second down and 11. Movement there on the offensive line, a little quick, and a five-yard penalty. Oh, jumping early from his tight end spot. Maybe try to get a jump start on that route. Yeah, I think you're exactly right about that. And oftentimes when you see that, that means the play call was supposed to come in his direction, and he was eager to go catch a pass. And he'll be pretty well stopped in his tracks. Give him a yard up to the 42. 
typically we think it's the strong safeties that are better tacklers, especially closer to the line of scrimmage amidst traffic. But in this case, how about the free safety coming up and making the big time play? The Ravens bring out an extra defensive back here on third. Now Wilson. And tight coverage there. It's knocked away incomplete. Partner, for once in my life, I'll be succinct. In a one-possession game, every single stop like that could be a difference maker. The Steelers send out their punter now as he'll punt it away for the second time. And the fair catch is taken at about the 13-yard line here. The Ravens offense and their quarterback headed out for this next possession. And this defense might be about ready to wave the white flag. Nothing they have tried to throw at him has been that successful. He just processes things so quickly and makes a right read seemingly every time. The Raven offense set at the line for this next drive. Now, the previous drive they punted, but that was just the first time they've had to do so in this game. And when they turn on the game film, the coaches will rant about this, right? They'll say, oh, God, we got to move the ball, guys. We can't punt the ball away. But they have to keep smiles off their faces because that's the first time in the game they've had to do so. They've moved it quite well. They'll overall be happy with what they've seen. Here now, second and four. Jackson options out left and they'll bring him down at the 27 yard line a solid gain of seven yards that time on the keeper and a first down well that's the fear any defense has when the quarterback gets involved in the running game you don't usually account for him and he's hurting them today yeah he's been very involved in the running game defensively when you've got the coverage good downfield how do you account for him though Occasionally, you start to spy him. Take someone that's the same agility, who can dance with him, run with him, and try and keep him in the pocket. That'll be especially critical here as we come down the stretch in the fourth. It's a pickup of 11 at a Baltimore first down. This is something you got to be wary of defensively. I mean, just because they're in the mode of trying to burn some clock doesn't mean they won't pass it. They got good yardage out of that one. Yeah, and really, when you're looking at it, now they've got a fresh set of downs. Look for second down. If they want to take another shot and try and loosen things up, that'd be the time to do it. They'll try and choose some clock with Henry. And he'll be brought down just shy of the 45. T.J. Watt in on the tackle. Well, at this stage, that's exactly what you want offensively. Good run on first down. Stay in bounds. Keep that clock rolling. And look at that play chart that the play caller has in his hands right now. That's what you got to focus in on because... That's divided up by sections. And right now, he's looking at that four-minute offense section. What running plays do we have to bleed down the clock and take care of the football? Right now, they're executing really well. And they're going to have themselves another first down as the tackle's made at the Steelers' 33. 23 yards the pick up there. And these guys certainly are not hiding what their intention is. They're absolutely showing it. They're definitely not going to sit on this lead here in the fourth quarter. Not totally home free yet, but it's looking good as they come up first and ten. Tenth carry now for Derrick Henry. The recipe's pretty simple, I think, right? Just <laughs> give your superstar the ball, continue to feed him. Yeah, don't overthink this one, right? Make sure he's touching the football, but you're also counting on his intelligence and playing the game as well. If it's not there, don't force the run. Just make sure you hang on to the football and keep the clock ticking. Fourth quarter, down to the final two minutes, and we've got a one-score game. So it's Raven football here as we welcome you back. They've got a second down now as they search for a way to get this one to the finish line. He's going to get it again, just looking to get forward and protect the ball. And now we'll see a timeout used on defense as they stop it right out of the break with 1.57 to go in the ball game. Now this is a big third down, and you'd have to think we'd see a timeout right away if they can't stop him here. Now Jackson. Able to find the open man. That's complete. Now the Steelers use the second of their three timeouts. 
That'll leave him with just one remaining in this fourth quarter of play. Here's a first and 10 at the 14-yard line. Inside handoff, Henry. And he has the Ravens first down, and it would appear that that's going to be the one to do it. And they will take a knee here. Back at the five yard line now, second and goal. A shotgun handoff to Henry. And he'll get it. Touchdown, Baltimore! Derrick Henry, a five-yard touchdown run. And the Ravens have opened up a two-touchdown lead here in this fourth quarter. And that right there is a definition of a statement drive. You're in the fourth quarter, trying to get to the finish line, and here they were able to hold the ball for a long time and move it down the field. And how about them finishing it off with the touchdown run? Winning football 101, Check that box. Tucker now to add the point after. And the lead is up to 14. So that one a long 11-play drive. And Derrick Henry able to finish it off with a touchdown run. Tucker now to kick it away following the touchdown. And he takes this near the 25, just a little pass there, call it the 26. So Russell Wilson in the offense, down by two touchdowns, a little over a minute to go. Field goals, useless at this point. They need two touchdowns, and they need them in short order. Here's Wilson. And the Raven pressure too much. Down he goes. Finally hauled down for the first time this game. Multiple defenders in there to drop him. He was still looking through his progressions and going through his receiver options. And while he was doing that, the defense got to him quickly in the pocket. And it was a great example of zone coverage. Well executed, well coordinated. All the receivers were covered, and he couldn't evade the rush back in the pocket. And his throw is going to be incomplete. If this offense can't get it done, they'll think back to just a few plays and say to themselves, this was a winnable game and we let it get away. Still a chance to save it, but time's definitely running out. This definitely four down territory at this point, but a critical third down here. Wilson. He's got Pickens complete. And all way down to the 40-yard line. Well, defensively there, you want to play it a little safe and keep the action in front of you, but you definitely are looking to give up plays like that. They still got the cushion of a two-score lead, but don't give them a freebie here in the final minute. Here's first and ten. One last shot for Wilson. 
That is caught. It's Williams. And he gets it all the way down inside the 10 and mark him at the 5. So the final seconds tick away in this Baltimore victory. And they were spurred on by a strong performance in that fourth quarter as they held their opponents off the scoreboard. Everyone wants to pitch a shutout for the entire game, but when you throw one in the fourth quarter, that tells everyone that you're getting stronger and dominance is starting to take over, right? The way that you close, the way that you finish, that gets preached to you from the time you're playing Little League football all the way up through. And they closed them out with a big-time performance down the stretch. So that'll do it for us, for my partner, Charles Davis, and all the hard-working men and women on our crew. I'm Brandon Gaughan. You've been watching the NFL right here on EA Sports. And with that, we say so long from Pittsburgh.